Hello everyone, this is Listen to on Primavera 6. We will talk about how to build and specify Primavera data and settings. And this lesson will include three videos. In part one, we will talk about admin preferences. And in part two, we will talk about admin categories and unit of measure and currencies. And in part three, we will talk about user preferences and calendar. In this lesson, we will learn how to build our Primavera 6 data and specify default settings to be fixed in our projects and we can change it or modify it according to our future projects and this is very important to do it before we start build and insert our company data so we start in Primavera 6 data then we can start in our company data and to insert and specify settings from admin we go to admin preference so we start in general this code separator we can change it and this is to separate levels in codes so there is a lot of codes type there is WBS code and activity code and resource codes and project codes and we will talk about this in next lessons starting day of week it's very important to specify it Monday or Saturday so it's the one in your country about active duration here we can put it 6 or 7 or what we need as default duration but I would prefer to put it 0 so we can see it when we insert our activity to change it and put it activity duration about timesheets and timesheet privileges we use it if we use timesheet software we must specify settings from this two pages for data limits this is specify the maximum number of levels for trees so this maximum numbers I inserted for maximum base lines per project it's infinity number and to make sure if we put it 51 so there's error maximum level in WBS3 must be between 1 to 50 so it's maximum 50 and here 25 25 25 so this is the maximum number of levels for trees and to understand the trees we go to here for example this is what we say trees from here we can go back so this is the levels ok we back id length also to specify the maximum number of characters for ID this is the maximum from 1 to 20 maximum 20 for WBS code and the project ID resource ID activity ID cost account ID and rule ID we go to time periods here we are specify a number of work hours so hours per day it will be 8 or 6 you can put it for here we do it 8 so per week it will be 8 by 6 it will be 48 because there is 6 work day in month it will be 8 by 26 because we have 26 day per month so it will be 208 and for year it will be 208 by 11 month per year and it will be 2288 and here it's very important to mark this and activate to allow user to specify the number of work hours 
and it's very important to activate because if users specify calendars so calendars must match with these settings if calendar have six hours per day and here we put it eight hours per day so we will have incorrect results so it's very important to allow to users to specify the number of work hours about here you must put symbols and it's better to be small one or two only letters and anyone read it must understand it so here we can put M N and for hours HR for days D O K D for weeks we can put W K for month it will be M and for year we can put it Y R now about earned value this is will be explained in our BMB course but now we can talk about it so about this all this deals with activity just this one deal with WPS so if you show this one activity percent complete so end value will calculate it according current activity completion percentage if you show this one so end value will be zero until activity end then it will be 100 and this is when activity start it will be 50 and when end it will be 100 and here we specify earned value you can put it what you want and if we show this one WPS milestone we must specify the milestone for WPS and milestone it is important stage in the project like concrete work so we show activity percent complete and about this this is performance factor also we can show us what we want and end value calculation when calculation end value from a baseline we use we can use at completion values with current dates or budget values with current dates or budget values with the planned dates so we show this one now reports we can specify three sets of heaters and footers and labels is first second and third and for option so here we specify time interval for WPS and resource and rule assignment we can show the week or month keep it week and here to allow use of a project architect and here if you work on network we must put our server URL and here to insert the web user to insert the web user responsible for administrative tasks related to workflow and here if you like to import and view contract manager our project information so we mark here if URL it's 8 then ok if 9 and more we must add our URL here and now about red type we can specify titles for resource and rule rate and it must be cost per quantity like here USD per cube meter now we close this 